Hey guys, Cody with After 5 Outdoors. Today I want to do a video, I'm going to pattern my Beretta A300 for turkey loads. This is the shotgun that I primarily hunt turkeys with. Last year I did not pattern my shotgun. The more I'm getting into hunting, the more I'm seeing that it is imperative to pattern your shotgun. Now when I bought my Beretta A300 about six years ago, it came with three chokes, an improved, a full, and a modified. Now I've used those three chokes, that primarily this gun was used for waterfall hunting for ducks and for geese. And I never really had an issue knocking birds down with it. Last year I went turkey hunting for the first time and I felt pretty confident I just, I didn't pattern my shotgun. I, I should have, but I didn't. So the first bird that I was targeting, I was scouting for a long time watching him. I, I called him the one, he was the one that I wanted. I got a shot at him at about 38 yards. I hit him, but I didn't anchor him. Now the rest of that season, I ended up shooting a gobbler at about 20 yards and it anchored him right away. So throughout the year, I was like, you know, I think I do need to get a turkey choke. I plan on most of my shots. Last fall, I shot one at seven yards. I like to get up close with them. I like to get them as close as possible. But sometimes that's just that just doesn't work. It's not in the not in the in the cards. So I went and picked up the uh, Carlson Longbeard XR Turkey Choke for my Beretta A300. I also picked up one of those chokes for my Remington 870. So the loads I'm going to test today is just the Winchester Number no. Four Turkey Load. It's a three inch. It's the vo velocity on it is like 1,210 feet per second. It's an ounce and seven eighth shot, and it's a Number no. Four. Uh, the second one I'm going to test is just the Remington Nitro Magnum. It's a 12, 12 gauge, 3 inch, 1,210 feet velocity, 1 ounce and 7 eighths shot, and that is a number 4 as well. The third one is going to be the heavy shot, the heavy metal turkey. It's a 12 gauge, 3 inch, inch ounce and a quarter shot, and that is a number 4 as well. So I'm going to be shooting them through the Beretta A300 with the Carlson Longbeard XR Turkey Choke. I'm gonna be shooting from 35 yards. So I'm gonna get loaded up, throw some pellets down range. All right, so the first round I'm gonna try is the Remington Nitro Mag, the number four. It's gonna be a 35 yard shot. And I'm gonna do it just on the barrel offhand because I'll be probably hunting out of a blind and my shots are gonna be pretty much offhand, maybe with a little bit of a rest and kind of simulate a pretty similar shooting conditions. So let's see what the Remington Nitro Mag number four does at 35 yards through the Carlson Longbeard XR. All right, so as you guys can see, a lot of pellets on target. Just in, there's uh, one in the spine and there's two, four, five, six, kind of in the brain area here. That's a dead turkey at 35 yards, absolutely no problem. And you notice you've got, uh, got a few in the body here as well. So that's undoubtedly a dead turkey at 35 yards. That's the Remington uh, Nitro Mag number four. All right, so that was the Remington Nitro Mag number four at 35 yards. Let's try the Winchester number four. This is definitely still a dead bird. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a skin. Uh, nine kind of in the head region here. And a couple in the brain, one in the beak there. A couple in the neck, but those are probably just feathers. One in the spine in this one. A lot of these pellets are high, and that could be from shooter error too. The pattern is, you know, it's pretty tight, um, but I'm a little bit high there. So it's, it's probably got a little bit to do with shooter error as well. All right, so let's move on to the heavy steel, heavy metal in number four. All right, so here's the heavy metal. And I got a couple in the brain box there. A lower head, get into the spine, got one. The neck here, got a few in here. Still a dead bird but definitely not as many pellets in the head region as the other two. I don't feel like I'm anticipating recoil very, very much to pull it, but I am, I am shooting kind of, I'm sim trying to simulate a real world, world situation of what I'm gonna be shooting. So yeah, I could be in a still bench and, and see what the pattern is, but I, I wanna equal it to real world um, hunting. So this is just my experience 
You know, this is not a scientific test. If it was a scientific test, we would be in a locked uh, bench rest and everything, but this is real world purposes only. So this is what I'm seeing out of the heavy metal. So out of the three so far, the nitro mag is the one that's uh, patterning the best. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the Remington 870. I've had this shotgun for about 12 years. Have not really shot it much in the last few years. Now this is the same brand choke. It's still the Carlson choke, but this is a .660 where the Beretta was a .650. So I'm gonna do the same field test with this at 35 yards with the same three rounds and see if there's much of a difference. All right, I'm gonna try the Remington 870 with the Remington Nitro Mag. All right, as you can see, a nice centered pattern with the uh, 870 and then the Remington Nitro. A lot of kill shots here. Good, nice spread uh, around the bird. So if the bird were to move a little bit, I guess he'd still get peppered pretty good. A lot more recoil in the 870 than there is in the, uh, the Beretta, that is for sure. All right, let's go with the Winchester Super X, number four, turkey load. All right, so a pretty good amount of pellets around the bird's head got uh good kill shots four in the brain box a couple in the lower here one in the beaker and you got some kill shots some shots in the body here but the good kill shots there um, but the pattern is still uh, quite a bit around the bird just a note i am checking the tightness of the chokes in between shots to make sure they're not loose or anything like that so this is the winchester super x turkey load number four all right, now here's the heavy metal number four in the turkey load. Still 35 yards, the Remington 870. I can tell you there's really nothing pleasurable about shooting this uh, over and over and over again. The uh, Beretta definitely soaks up more of the recoil and the 870 is just kind of punishing. All right, so from the 870, a much nicer result on the heavy metal. Could be the point of aim. You know, could have had a little bit of a flinch, I guess, in the Beretta, but that's a nice, nice pattern here. You can see you got uh, a few touching right here. So this is my point of aim is, is right here is what I'm, what I'm aiming for. A lot of pellets in the body, a lot in the neck here. You got three basically in the brain box. Definitely a dead bird. So I'm gonna take these targets, add up the, uh, kill shots, the pellets in the head, pellets in the body, and give you a tally here in a minute. 